For this week's lab, we're going to explore the vapor phase equilibrium of a binary liquid mixture. And so to do that, you're going to do a distillation. And I'm going to assume you can set up a distillation, simple distillation. I'm going to show you the particular device we're using is a Cottrell cotton distiller. And we want to handle it properly since it's very fragile. And, uh, and it is uh, irreplaceable in that it's not any current catalog. To assemble the device, you see it has the uh, sleeve here. We'll take that out. So we can insert the Cottrell pump. And uh, we also need to insert a three-way stopcock here. The stopcock has three holes bored in it, and there's a diagram uh, in the pre-lab lecture about the different positions and what they do. We want to grease it with a little bit of uh, silicone grease, make sure it seals, and then there's a clip, metal clip, to hold it place. Okay. The control pump is, is very fragile. It's thin glass tubing. In the shape of a little triangle here. These are, these are tubes. So vapor can go through so you want to gently place that into the uh, distiller. Well, first, we'll add a few distillation chips, boiling chips. So that we get even, smooth, even boiling and less bumping. Okay. We'll gently slide this down the side here, place it in the base of the distiller. We'll clamp, firmly clamp this in place here. and again gently place it so that the control pump goes inside the sleeve here. And then you want to add, position the thermometer so that it's just inside this space here where the vapor is going to be pumped up to it uh, so the, the thermometer is going to be the closest to the vapor liquid phase temperature. Now that our thermometer is in the correct position, we're going to uh, put our liquid into the uh, base of the distiller. And initially we're going to start with pure liquid. So we're going to measure out uh, 100 milliliters of pure liquid using a graduated cylinder. And we're doing all this in the hood. These are flammable liquids. So we need to be uh, careful about the ignition sources and we're heating them up. So we can use a graduated cylinder for, for purposes of this lab. measure our volume. So we have 100 milliliters and we're going to use a funnel to place it into the distiller. We're 
want to make sure, actually, before we start doing that, make sure the stop cock is in position three, so it's closed. We're able to sneak out all over the lab bench. Okay, once you have your 100 milliliters in, we're going to go ahead and uh, note that volume because we're going to use that position as we make our uh, solvent mixture solutions. We're going to maintain that volume of liquid to uh, help us conserve on all the measuring and adding liquids. Once we get the distillation started, we will uh, carefully keep track of the positions for our stopcock. And we need a, uh, a rinse or waste vessel and a collection vessel. So we'll, we'll clean out the stopcock by letting some liquid run through. Just a little bit of liquid to clean out the stopcock between uh, sampling and then putting the stopcock in the correct position to collect either liquid binary mixture or vapor phase, which have been condensed uh, binary mixture into the tube here. Once we have our sample, mixture, sample, then um, we only need a little bit to uh, measure the index of refraction. And I'll do another video showing how to use the refractometer. In order to facilitate heating our uh, reaction vessel, our, our distillation vessel, we have the hot plate in contact uh, with the glass, and we've surrounded it with aluminum foil to help create a thermal chimney. When we reach the stopping point in our distillation, we're going to uh, carefully remove the foil. It's all going to be very hot. Uh, we want to lower the heat away so we can collect our liquid and add uh, other solvents for our solvent mixture without uh, a flammable hazard here. So we're going to lower the heating plate using the lab jack. We want to be careful because you can see the lab jack is metal, so it's going to conduct heat also from the hot plate. So. Uh, lower the lab jack, remove the hot plate, and then you can proceed with your uh, manipulation of the hot liquid making the new solutions.